the Californian fallacy. This is a fallacy that many people throughout the country, the middle of the country especially, will use. Uh, they will say the Californians are destroying our community. And the reason they will say that is because many people who move from California to their rural, beautiful, pristine, fair, honest, good part of the country, oh, the Californians move in and then they start enacting laws, uh, environmental laws, and, and doing all kinds of, of sustainability type things that interfere with human nature and the pursuit of other people's happiness. And so then the, the problem that people think exists is that a Californian moved here and a Californian is doing this. And in fact, that is not true. That is a fallacy. Californians were among the first people in the United States to have uh, the United Nations Agenda 21, the sustainability, uh, not statutes, but non-binding agreement. <laughs> uh, they were the first ones to be the victim of that mentality. And then as it spread throughout California and became a matter of fact, California has a large population. And as people were able to escape California and go to better places, they brought many of those ideas with them. But the reason this is a fallacy is because it is not a Californian issue. It is a sustainability agenda 21 issue. And that is where the blame should go, not on the people that are from a particular legal jurisdiction or area called California. Rosa Corey talks about this in great depth, this Agenda 21 thing, and the that is where the ultimate blame goes for the destruction of free market, capitalism, uh, fairness, uh, that kind of thing. It is not Californians. So do not fall for the Californian fallacy. <laughs>